This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2.5 for Unreal Tournament 2004. In this video we will add a door and a trigger. So as you can see here I have a basic room which is 1024 by 1024 and for the texture set I'm using Alaria architecture and it's got some nice walls, ceilings, floors, everything and we're going to show you how to build a door which is very similar to my previous tutorial which is talking about how to build any mover so first you come up here to the static mesh browser and we are going to open a package called Alaria hardware which matches the texture set that I'm using and as you can see there are many different meshes you can choose from you go to miscellaneous in the subcategory and we're going to select a door frame which looks like this so now with this selected you can minimize and let's just add this on the floor there it is and now let's bring that down so that it touches the floor while it's selected simply hold the control and the left mouse button to drag it down and check in all three viewports that it is in fact where you want it to be. So that's step one. Now we're going to add the mover which is actually the door itself. And let me just pick out the door so you can take a look at it. Come up here to the static mesh browser. Click on the door. As you can see it's only half the door. So if you can visualize, let me just move this over you can see that there's going to be one half the door here and then another half the door here so I'm going to need two of these pieces and both of them have to be movers so let's start with this first this is the easy one and remember that you have to know where your red brush is so here I've put the red brush in the center when you click on the add mover button that's where it's going to be so you're going to have to set the initial position so let me grab this so it's green and same thing again let me as you can see here in this viewport I'm gonna drag it down and align it perfectly so it's gonna be like that and then make sure in this viewport let's see if I've got it there so as you can see that's part one now I need to do this again so let me unselect it come back up here to the red brush click on add mover I have a second piece and as you can see this second piece needs to be flipped so you click on it so that it's green you come up here to the actor rotate icon click on that and let me use this window so you can see it better you're going to hold the control key and the right mouse button and drag it around until it's totally flipped over the other way like so now while it's still selected I need to bring it down to align it to the door frame so in this case it's going to be control left click drag And then this has to be moved over to there. And you can see that it's perfectly aligned now. Okay, so we have a door frame, which is just a static mesh. And remember that you will probably need to build an actual solid BSP wall here right so that you can only go through the door to get to the other side but I'm gonna leave it like this because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to show you what I do next so I have these two and these are movers and right now a player would have to bump them in order for the doors to open and that's not really good for the gameplay what you really want is a trigger 
and the trigger will open these doors at the same time. So let's go to the actor class browser. Over here, there's a triggers family. Click on the plus sign. And all you need for now is the basic trigger, which is this one here. So not this trigger, which is the whole parent, but this one here, which is a child. So take this one, add a trigger on the ground. And if you've seen my UT99 tutorial on the same subject, then you'll already know what to do. So this trigger is going to be triggering these two doors. So what I need to do is come up here and you're going to select both of these doors. So let's click on this one, hold down control, click on the other one. So now you have the two selected. Let me just put this in real time preview. Now you right click, select properties. And under events, you need to have a tag. So let's just call this my door. Remember that because we're going to be using it for the trigger. So this is called my door. And while we're here, let's take care of the normal mover stuff that I did in my previous tutorial. I'm going to take the sounds, open up the slaughter package. Go to machinery. Click on the hum. Go to the mover properties, mover sounds. And that'll be the, amb the mover ambient sound, which is this one. Click use. Then this is the end. So that'll be the closed sound. And then next is this one, which is the opening sound here. Next, I want to go to the mover part, which is this one here. I want the doors to open very quickly because I don't want the player to bump into it. So let's put this to 0.5. Stay open time. Let's make that a little bit shorter. Let's say two, two seconds. I like to choose ignore when encroach, but that's up to you. B dynamic light mover equals true. So we have the two movers, which are the doors. The next thing I need to do is I want these doors to slide out. So it's going to be this one here first. Remember, this is the starting position. So what you need to do is you need to right click mover key one and slide it over to where it needs to be, which I think is let's slide it to about there. Then once you've agreed to that position, you right click again and put it back to mover zero. Then you take this one and do the same thing. You right click mover key one and drag it into position, which I think is right there. Let me just check. Yeah, that's where it is. And then right click on it again to bring it back to key zero. So we've got the mover set up with the sounds. Next, we need the trigger itself. And this trigger, you click on, right click on it, choose properties. We're gonna make the collision a lot bigger. Let's say 100 for the radius. I'll show you that in a second. The most important thing here is the event of that trigger. That's going to be called my door, which matches the mover. Then you got to come down here to the trigger part. Player proximity, that's fine. And one last thing I need to do on the movers themselves. Is instead of bump open time, which means it's being opened by the player bumping into it, we're going to make it trigger open timed. Now the final piece here that I'm going to show you again, this is from the UT99 video. Here in this viewport, or any viewport actually, you can right click on this little gray bar here. And what I want to show you is the radius, the radii view of that actor. So if I click on that, and now I click on my trigger, 
you can see where where the radius is going to be so I need to put this right in the middle of that door so that if the player is in this this area it will open the door okay let's play let's save first build and play test So as I mentioned, this is merely the static mesh and the movers. Uh, when you do this, you're going to be building a solid wall that goes right over this thing, and you will need to chop out a hole, like a square hole if you want to, in the middle, where the player is going to go through. 